Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Live downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Thanks for checking in for our quick weather update for our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you'd like to know more about what's going on with the forecast, thanks for joining us. Just drop the comments into the lower section below if you've got anything in the way of weather reports out there. Let's see them. Let's see what the thermometer on the outside of the kitchen window is telling us for this morning. And no matter where you are, thanks for joining us for the early morning update. Questions about the forecast, if you can't stick around for the whole thing. Current temperature in the backyard right now, 71 degrees, 87 for high temperature today with, again, a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm possible out there. And temperatures for tonight down the lower bar here in the mid to upper 60s. Got questions about the forecast or, <coughs> excuse me, would like to see anything else about that, go to this website right here here at wrhg.com slash weather and you can find out more about what's going on through all those various social media networks. Let's take a look around the rest of the Mid-South and show you a little bit more about what's going on which again starting to see a little bit more sunlight breaking its way into college a little bit more in the way of sunlight out there so looking a little bit nicer for this morning at least we're getting some blue skies out there and we'll probably see more of that throughout the rest of the day Ole Miss on the campus in Oxford at Crosby Hall looking toward the Student Union which you can see there under construction renovation going on a lot of people out a fairly mild morning for this time of the year for northern Mississippi and things very much on the quiet side for right now but checking in from Corinth Mississippi Thank you very much for the very kind words and looking at again some decent amounts of sunshine out there. More of our webcams available at wrig.com slash webcams. More of the live cams available from the site at oldmiss.edu if you'd like to see more information there. Still some fog out on the horizon from Germantown looking back toward the towers of East Memphis which you can see almost barely out on the horizon there. You can still see a little bit of about how hazy it actually is thanks to that fog which is starting to burn off slowly but it's taken a little while to get there. 71 degrees currently and looking again at 90% humidity, so a very warm and sultry morning. Rest of the forecast, if you can't stick around for the whole thing, here's what we're looking for. Again, temperatures not doing too bad. We may see again the potential for more chances of showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-South as we go toward later on this afternoon. But the chances of precipitation, again, we're just not looking at too much of anything in the way of any major precipitation out there, but there will still be that chance into the course of the rest of the day today, and for that matter, into around the afternoon and evening hours. So if you have any plans for outdoors, just plan ahead for the potential of having to get back indoors again should it become necessary. And some very warm and muggy conditions. Notice the winds and the red bar showing light winds and not expected to get much over about 5 miles per hour. Julia Cavallo, thank you for joining us from Walls, Mississippi. My bifocals can't read that small point face type on Facebook. Let's see what's going on throughout the rest of the area today. Give me a second, I'll get this into position here so everybody can see a little bit more about what's going on with their forecast numbers. Again, throughout the rest of the day today, temperatures will be back into about the mid to upper 70s to around the lower 80s. Chances of showers and thunderstorms should be limited until about early afternoon, but we could see a shower or thunderstorm now that the sun is out and shining down toward the lower portions of the atmosphere we could see a shower or thunderstorm pop up at just about any point in time so please keep that in mind if you're planning on going around uh, for outdoors later on around the golf swim lessons for the kids picnic in the park corporate retreat whatever it is remember if you can hear thunder or see lightning you are within range of getting struck from that thunderstorm so please remember that throughout the course of the rest of the summer season speckles of showers and thunderstorms off and on throughout the entire day today especially into this afternoon and this evening where temperatures hit their peak in the mid to upper 80s. It may be a little bit cooler in some parts of the area where numbers may drop a little bit thanks in part to uh, that the clouds and the rainfall blocking out some of the sunshine so that may make things a little bit more comfortable out there. So that could drop the numbers a bit maybe even into the 70s at times but it will bounce back pretty easily back into the 80s. By the time we hit sunset that should get rid of the extra energy in the atmosphere taking care of any bubbling up of showers or thunderstorms so I doubt we're really going to be seeing too much of anything after sunset. Some limited showers, maybe a thunderstorm possible, not out of the question there. Quiet into tomorrow morning about the time we head on for News Channel 3 Daybreak back in the lower to mid-60s out there. Getting into the mid to lower 80s by the time we hit around lunchtime tomorrow. 
early lunchtime hours and then more speckles of showers and thunderstorms throughout the course of the rest of the forecast into around tomorrow may be concentrated around parts of West Tennessee and that is where we could see a little bit more in the way of showers and thunderstorms there Regina Harden welcome from Dyersburg Tennessee uh, Kathy Perry from Hernando sunshine for a week planning for a family reunion for about 60 people uh, rent a huge tent that might not be such a bad idea at this point we'll take a look at the extended forecast here in just a little bit tomorrow night also again quieting down after the sun goes away won't be too much left over from those showers and thunderstorms severe threat for today non-existent for the mid-south area you can see there's absolutely nothing in the way of a threat here marginal into around portions of missouri slight risk the highest risk in kansas and parts of missouri the best possibility of any severe weather after that will be back to our north around st louis kansas city and up toward des moines tomorrow and only a marginal threat at this time and then the threat after that goes even farther back to our north up around portions of chicago minneapolis the twin cities and into the dakotas so not that much left over for where we are okay kathy perry planning out your family reunion we'll go out for the next about seven days on this one so you can see more about what's going on again for today mid to upper 80s for highs not doing too bad out there for the numbers and an isolated chance of showers and thunderstorms greatest into around later on this afternoon anything past about lunchtime through about dinner time and right about sunset and then after that everything kind of dwindles off tomorrow a repeat performance for the most part temperatures back in the mid 80s once again with isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms across much of the mid-south area as we get into tomorrow after and evening then for friday a little bit cooler thanks to those clouds and rainfall potentials rising notice that we have a 50 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms showing up in the forecast for friday now getting into the weekend unfortunately that's where we see the highest possibility of showers and thunderstorms coming on through about a 60 percent coverage chance for both saturday and sunday and then less of that as we go toward monday and tuesday of next week the first full week of june looks like it's going to be both a little bit cooler at the start a lot warmer at the end of it toward about the upper 80s toward the end of next week and more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there so we will catch occasional breaks in between the showers and thunderstorms but we are starting to shape up for what appears to be a pretty wet pattern out there not to mention the possibility of some very warm conditions in the mid-south all the way on through so nothing really in the way of good news if you're planning on holding outdoor plants i wouldn't cancel everything just yet but i would have the opportunity to plan ahead for a plan b to get everybody back indoors again should it become absolutely necessary and for safety's sake again uh, indoors inside a sturdy structure best place to be when a thunderstorm's around and if you see lightning or hear thunder remember when thunder roars go indoors let's say make certain we all stay safe throughout the summer season keep up to date with what's going on with the weather by downloading our news channel 3 weather app whatever platform you've got go to your app store and search wreg weather to keep up to date with what's going on with news channel 3 more of my forecast this morning on am 730 yahoo sports radio with bob and josh on talkback live if you'd like to keep up to date with your forecast on your drive to work school or wherever you happen to be going to this morning and of course complete checks of the forecast this weekend on am on the uh uh, East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, I'll have more on all these social media network channels out there. If you'd like to check in with those, please do so. And keep up to date again with News Channel 3, the complete forecast from the weather experts available right here at WREG.com slash weather. Other questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to see on here? If there's something specific you'd love to see, let us know. We don't know about that unless you tell us, and my psychic powers are slightly below par. Are so difficult to actually tell what you're thinking on this so email me there should well should be an email address right here saying austin.onic at wreg.com so if you'd like to know more please email me let me know stay tuned for more on news channel 3 live at 9 i'll be on there and also on news channel 3 at noon tim and jim will have your complete forecast coming up a little bit later starting on first at four and going through news channel 3 at 10 later on tonight thanks for joining me for a quick weather update of our weather blog weather overtime on facebook and also on various other social media sources and we'll have more throughout the rest of the day on news channel 3 thanks for joining us and stay tuned to news channel 3 throughout the rest of the day and into the rest of the week as we keep you updated on the upcoming weekend's weather.